So the wires that connect the dynamo hub and the priority 600 bike to this Lego style connector. are not easy to get working the first time you open your bike, or at least they weren't on my bike. So I thought I'd create a video tutorial on how to get them connected and working, and then show a quick video of a much better design that I think this Dino Hub manufacturer should be using to improve their product. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm creating a little more wire space by feeding wire into the top of the fork from the light and then pulling that wire through the bottom of the fork from the inside of the spoke holes. Just a couple centimeters so that I have a little more room to work with. And we can see that these ends are stripped very short so there's only about three millimeters of clearance so we're going to use our Klein wire stripping tool to just about double that going from about three millimeters to about eight and that way we can poke the wires through the Lego connector holes and then fold them over the mounting bracket before plugging it back in. So we got the first one stripped and it looks a lot better. And now we'll go ahead and strip that second one. Now that we have both wires stripped to about eight millimeters we're gonna thread them through the top holes of the connector and then I'm gonna fold them in on themselves and this will be easier to to see once I move my finger off the or hand off the plate itself this was a one take video so I apologize, but now you can see how I've folded those wires over that connector nice and cleanly. And I'm also making sure they're not touching each other because that would just short the circuit. So they're, they're folded over the chip and now I can carefully plug it in. And that, that fold of those two wires is very important for making the dynamo go. So now I can go up, power the light on, spin the front wheel, and see that the dynamo is producing power because it's lighting that front wheel. We'll go ahead and check the back wheel light and make sure it's working as well. Now that we've verified that we fixed the problem, let's take a look at what a DC charging connector or power transfer connector should look like on a $2,500 bike. This is the type of connector they should be using. Simple, magnetic, pretty waterproof. It's not that complicated. Well, I hope this how-to video was helpful for the folks that run into this type of situation with their Priority 600 bike. And the headphones I showed the charging connector with are Aeropex by Aftershock, and I'll have a link to those in the description below. I've been using them for a couple years and I really like them. Thanks for watching. Bye.